What's up guys, it's Dwayne from mountainbuck.com. We go from backyard to backwoods. And guys, today I'm up here in the woods because I'm going to do a mini throw and grow food plot with Hot Chick from Domain Outdoor. And if you watch my ultimate throw and grow food plot video series, you'll know that Hot Chick performed very well. The deer loved this stuff, they kept coming back to it. You'll also remember that it took a little bit longer to get established. That's why I'm out here early, it's July 31st. I'm a couple weeks earlier than I normally would be because I wanna give these plants a little bit longer to get established and hit hit when the time is right. So I'm up here in one of three mini throw and grow food plots I'm doing this year. This is a partially shaded area. The soil is acidic. We got lots of ferns up here. Uh, I brought my trusty grass whip here to get rid of some of these ferns. Nice and light, able to whack those things out of there. I also stepped my game up a little bit with the Scott's spreader. So I'm gonna actually do it legit and spread the seed and have an even distribution of seeds this year with that handheld Scott spreader. And of course I brought my rake. So very light, minimal tools for this throw and grow food plot. Hook me up and hit subscribe guys, and let's get to work. So this hot chick is a hearty mix of chicory and clover. It has red and white clovers in there. It's great for partially shaded areas like I have here or full sun. It's pH tolerant and does well with a wide range of uh, pH levels here. I'm, I'm pretty acidic in my soil, but it grew up just fine in my test grow. And like I said, the deer really liked it. Uh, so this thing's gonna come back year after year, which is great. I have all these ferns. I'd like the chicory and clovers to come back and start competing with these ferns. So I have to do less and less each year. That's kind of the plan. And uh, I got some rain coming in tonight, tomorrow. So I'm gonna get this into the ground. Hopefully that rain helps us out and we'll check back in a couple weeks. Here we are on day six and we are already getting sprouts and it's growing up nice and looking healthy. And then here at day 13, you can see it's growing up really nice. We got a nice plush green carpet going across the entire span of this food plot here. And that's the great thing about these throw and grow food plots here, guys. You don't need like the perfect rectangular football field area of a food plot. You can work with what the land gives you. And up here on the hill here, you'll see I have this meandering food plot, but it's gonna work for me because the deer actually come up the hill this way and they'll either work their way out that way or they're gonna continue on and work their way up here. And what I have going on this year is I actually have too many throw and grow food plots up in this area. And what I have back here is I planted another mini throw and grow food plot with no BS from Domain Outdoor. And it is already just after one week 
doing very well and looking very healthy and growing up very nicely back there. And I will put that video out next week so you can check that no BS plot out. If you guys are curious about that structure I put in there, I did this crazy epic solo build and install with just me and my side by side and I put it up there. That hot chick is already growing nicely here. You can see behind me this nice light layer of green already growing with those seeds I planted just 13 days ago. And guys, I'm giving this hot chick some time to develop. I'm giving it the entire month of August and September so that chicory and clover will peak right at the right time, right in October when I'm ready for archery season and will hopefully provide some good opportunities on some nice bucks. I will put out another video or two just on this particular food plot to let you know how it's doing in the coming months. As always, guys, the links that guys we talked about are in the description below. Hook me up and hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, and we'll see you on the next one.